Hello everybody and welcome to your 50th C++ Made Easy HD tutorial and this tutorial we're going to be learning about file stream options. Uh, so we notice that when we call like say fstream or, or whatever we called um, that we could open our file and but it had nine overloads right and there's different things that we can put into it right. Now there's five different options that we can put into our our file to see I know there's more than five there's maybe there's maybe yeah there's more I think there's five or six or something different options that we can put in here to see what we do with the files that we're working with okay so these uh, by default the S stream takes in input and output by default the S stream takes in input alone and by default uh, our stream takes in output alone okay so uh, sometimes we noticed that before that when we called off stream and we wrote to the file that it would uh, write uh, that it would uh, erase what we had before and it wouldn't start from the end of the file right well uh, with these options we can say that we can append it and start from the end of the file etc etc but I'm going to be scrolling through the different options and show you what you can do so the first option is going to be iOS out so one thing I need to note, tell you from before is that by default, Fstream takes an input and output. What if we are to override this? If we were to put, if we we're supposed to put in something in here, then everything that it has by default is erased. So if we just put iOS out, which stands for output, right? That means it will only take output and it won't take an input. That's just for you guys uh, to, to note that. Okay. So, uh, so to move on to uh, the next, uh, the next uh, option we have iOS in, which is self-explanatory. That is to take in input. Okay, and uh, the next option we have is iOS app. So iOS app stands for append. Okay which means that if we're taking an output or something it will uh, start from the end of the file so it won't erase what we had before okay uh, so that's a good option if you don't want to erase what you had before notice that but iOS app only works if it takes an output right so if we don't have iOS out or if we're not using off stream or whatever so if we try to use if stream with this it won't work right but what if we want to check the end of the file for whatever reason right when we're reading in a file right then we can use a t e ios a t e and that will give us to the end of the file uh it'll give us a pointer to the end of the file and we could do whatever we need to do from there um there can be multiple reasons why you want to do that you can do that if you want to find out how many like uh if you want if you open a file using if stream and you set it to the end of the file and then you get the position of the file uh, and you can find out how many bytes are in your file f if you need to know that or however and I'll send you a link to show you different examples of how you can use these uh, these stuff and the last one is uh, iOS tr uh, trunc I'll call it trunk or tr whatever and uh, this what does this allow you to do Oh, this allows you to uh, whenever you open a file it erases all the contents from when you open it so you're gonna be saying okay but off stream does that by default why do I need to do this well if for some reason say when you you call if stream or something you want to erase a file you want to erase the whole file or whatever or do whatever you want to do to it then you, you can do that using iOS colon colon trunc okay so uh, those are the different options. Now, say you want to do multiple options together, right? Because so, the F stream has input and output, right? Or wait, did I show you? I didn't even show you one more option. Another option we have, sorry, the last option we have is binary. And what binary is, is that it allows us to actually literally take in everything we type in and take it literally and put it in the text file. So for example, if we were to uh, write this to a file, without binary what it would do is it would say this 
and then on a brand new line because the new line character is a special character so it would do a new line and then it would type coding made easy once we have iOS binary it ignores the special escape sequence characters right so it would write what we have exactly right here what we've outputted okay uh, so that's just for you guys to know so say I want to input and output in binary right uh, what we could and we need to, we need to add multiple options together so what we could do is put iOS out and what we would do is just put the line the bitwise or operator right so it's just like writing an or and an if statement or something but instead of two of them it's just one okay so we do iOS out iOS in and we could put iOS binary so therefore this open file takes an output input and everything that we do with the output and input is in binary so we could do this again so we could say uh, we just take an output and we put uh, app so we are just going to be outputting with this file and it's going to be appending the end of the file etc etc so whatever we type is going to be at the end of the file and I'm going to leave that for you guys to test that out so you guys I'm not going to show you it's up to you guys to do it so you guys get practice with it right and so you can mix and match uh, different things whenever you put uh, these input and output options there. Now there's uh, other things that I want to show you uh, while handling file streams, but I don't want to mix and match them into this uh, different the same tutorial. So in the next tutorial we're going to be learning about more uh, file stream options uh, that we can use to cycle through the file, find indexes within the file, and and so on and so forth. So I'm going to end the tutorial there. So I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you need help, don't be afraid to post on my forum on my website. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and bye.